God bless you guys. This is Cindy. I just wanted to come out for a moment and just share with you that something that the Lord laid on my heart. And today I want to talk to my parents out there. I want to talk to you about the importance of praying for your children. And even if you don't have any kids in the natural, you may have spiritual children. You may be a godmother. You may be an aunt. You may be someone that is involved in children's lives. And I know that prayer works. I am a product of prayer. And I think it's important that we intercede for our children and make sure that we are teaching them and giving them the spiritual legacy of faith. We may not know what our children encounter. We're not going to be able to be with them forever. But if you pray for them, and you give them to the Lord, then he has them in the palm of his hands. And I always say that children are a gift from God, and I don't ever want to take it for granted. Many of you who know my testimony knows that I prayed to become a mother, and they are gifts. And any gift that you have, you have to take care of it. And I know that children are so you know, in tune to so many things today that they are facing many things that we didn't even have to face growing up. So we have to make sure that we are interceding for them. And, you know, the Bible says in Matthew 16, 19, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. God has given us the keys. And one of the keys to helping us help our children is prayer. I always say, Prayer is how we give God permission to work in our life. I always say when you pray, you bring heaven on earth. There is so much power in prayer. And I just want to encourage you to start praying. If you don't pray for your kids, make sure that you are praying every day. You know, it's not something that I take lightly. You know, you might even decide, you know, one day out of the week to fast for your children. We want to make sure that our children are walking in the assignment that God has for them. You know, there's always three plans. There's God's plans, there's their plan, and then there's the enemy's plan. And I always say the best plan is God's plans. I've learned it only through the school of life. And I want to make sure that I know what God has for my children. And the only way that I can know that what he has planned for them is through prayer. And when you pray, he gives you strategies. He teaches you how to parent them. If you have more than one child, like I do, each child is different. Just like each of one of us is different. And you have to love them. You know, there's a book out there called The Five Love Languages. Uh, and, you know, they also have the five love languages for your children. Everyone receives love in a different way. And, you know, I encourage you to look at that book. Maybe it will help you find out what, uh, how your child receives love. Like, I know one of my sons is touch. Like, you know, he, he's always rough playing and he needs to hug and he needs me nearby him to show that, you know, it's love. And then I have another child that is words of affirmation. Like he just loves, you know, compliments and he loves when you build him up and, you know, so you have to know, you know, and the only way you know is through God and, and through spending time with them. But I think prayer is so important. So I'm just going to share with you a couple of prayers that I share and I say for my son. So I say in Jesus name, my children will commit their lives to you and be filled with your spirit. I pray that they will recognize that your name is above all names and they will confess you as Lord and Savior, that they will trust with you and trust in you with all their heart and lean not on their own understanding, but in all their ways that they will acknowledge you and that you will be their God and that they will submit and surrender everything to you. And you know, those are just things, I think the greatest gift you can give your children is truth, is salvation, and I, you know, went through a lot before I found the truth. And if I can avoid that for my children, then why not? Why not break those curses? Why not intercede? And, you know, if you knew you went through certain things, you don't want your kids to fight those battles you've been through. So then you start praying. And I just ask God that they get to know him intimately, that they want to surrender and to submit to him. I want them to have their own relationship. You know, sometimes people only come into relationship because you know them. But I want God, I want my children to know God personally. And you could be an example. You know, the Bible calls, you know, fathers to be the priests of their household. You know, we are to be the head and, and, and teach our children. If we don't teach our children, then the world's going to teach them something else. And, you know, if you don't intercede for them, then, you know, the enemy or certain friends might come in and teach them 
things that are not going to be productive for their life. So I always say, God, give them a heart for you. I always say, let them be obedient. Let them submit to you. You know, I pray that they will learn how to communicate to God and put their praises in God and their trust in God. I always, you know, one thing that I always pray for is that their identity will be found in Christ and their security. And I also pray for them to have Christ-centered confidence, you know, and to know their worth and that God will cover their minds, you know, there's so much that's out there, you know, there's so much with, you know, social media, there's so much with the internet, there's so much peer pressure out there, but I pray in the name of Jesus that they will not be pressured by this world, but they will stay in the word, and if you don't have Bible studies with your children, I encourage you to do that, and even if it's just having a conversation, how was your day today? You know, and even before they leave the house, I pray with them. When they wake up, I say, did you thank God for another day of life? I always plead the blood of Jesus over them. And, you know, children are watching. And that's one thing I always tell parents. They watch. They watch what you do more than what you say. And sometimes you need to teach them, like, when you encounter trials and when you encounter tribulations, how do you solve your problems? And I try to tell them, it's God. It's God. I try to show them that it's prayer. I try to show them and teach them love, you know, because the greatest commandment is love God and love others. And the only way, you know, and this is so important, love is an action, you know, and you have to make sure that you're showing them your faith in action as well. How do we love people? By speaking life to them. How do we love people? By being kind to them. How do we love people? By you know, giving, you know, God gave us the greatest thing. He's a giver. He's given us life. He's given us truth. You share the truth with others and you do it in love. You don't have to be like everybody else that's spreading hate. You don't have to be like everybody else, you know, but you will have to be like God. And that's one of my prayers. I pray that let us be imitators of Christ. Let us walk with his spirit and let us, you know, another thing that I pray for my children, which is so important is purity. You want to make sure that they're being pure in heart and pure in who they decide to be with, even down to praying for their spouses. I pray that God will send them the right spouse and that they will be submitted, that they will not be caught up with the things of this world and not walk in a spirit of lust, you know, and learn how to be bold and confident and learn how to not walk in the pressure of the world and not have to be like everybody else, but be like who God called them to be, you know? And I always pray that my children would treasure the word more than wealth and that they will love the word and base their lives on the word of God, that it will be a standard for them. And I teach them humility. I teach them about the promises of God. I teach them, you know, that God is, the answer, you know, to whatever they have. And I also pray for a spirit of holiness. You know, holiness is just, you know, keeping their body right for God, keeping their mind right, and just making sure that they're not concerned about pleasing people, but concerned about pleasing God. And I also pray that they will mature their faith and, you know, that they will just glorify God with their lives and everything that they do. And these are just some things that, you know, I pray for with my children and even down to praying for friendship, that God will send them godly counsel, godly friends, you know, that they will be discerning, that they will discern the things of God, you know, and they will not be rebellious and they will not deal with a spirit of rejection. You know, that was something that I dealt with, you know, when, you know, you grow up in a, a broken home, you feel like sometimes you're not loved, but I always try to teach my kids and, and I can't do this, you know, it's God. And this is why I just share some things then, you know, just pray for your children, pray that, you know, that they will draw near to him, that they will commit everything that they have to him, that God will bless them with joy and with peace and that, you know, they will just have a servant heart and that they will serve God all the days of their life, that they will maintain their first love, which is Christ. And I pray that God will just give them passion for him and for the desires that God placed in their life. And I just think most importantly that they would just be a light in the world and, you know, that they would just be an example of who God called them to be in their speech, 
in their life, in their love, in their faith, and in their purity. So I encourage you to pray for your children. Is it easy? Absolutely not. I always say parenting is one of the most um, difficult, uh, yeah, it's difficult, but yeah, it's the most rewarding. And I thank God that he's given us children and it's a big responsibility, but I always ask God to help me. And even if you start with that, God, help me to help my kids, help me to lead them in the right direction. Help me, God, and, and just pray and, you know, prayer works. And that's how I started with it. And I just encourage moms and dads and all my spiritual parents out there, aunties, uncles, you know, godmothers, continue to pray for them, continue to intercede for them, you know, and check in on them, talk to them and know and let them know that God loves them. So God bless you guys.